Aaron, uh, Dave, I believe it was, over in the Vulcan Tire and Automotive chat room. If you're starting a bourbon collection, Ooh. what are three, four, five good bourbons to start with? What, what's your advice if you're starting a bourbon collection? Man, first off is to listen to your taste buds. And there's going to be a lot of people out there that judge you, but you have to one, you have to drink it. So find something that's your everyday drinking bourbon. For me, my everyday drinking bourbon is like a Buffalo Trace. If you can find it in the state of Alabama, the allocation's not great. But Woodford's a little overpriced but expensive, but you can find it, no problem. I think Maker's is readily available. It's good. But in terms of like you want stuff in your collection, Eagle Rare is great. Uh, Weller is great. Um, you, you can't really find it that easily, but it's not expensive if you can. Henry McKenna 10-year is phenomenal. Put that in your collection. But the, the stuff that you can readily find is good for everyday drinking bourbon too. Just don't – I know it's intimidating for people to start the process because they view it as sort of snooty. Right. And it, it, people judge you if you put too much ice in it. People judge you if you put water in it. People especially judge you if you mix it. First off, find out what you like and just let your taste buds tell you. Yeah. I, I, I'll never forget, we did a show from Claremont, Kentucky from Future Brands, which is Jim Beam. And Fred No, who's the ambassador, the great grandson of Jim Beam, you know, he, he told we were talking bourbon and he's like, Whatever your palate says is the right way. Yep. Don't let people yes. dictate the way you drink your exactly. bourbon. Yeah. I, I've, since knowing you guys, I've started to, you know, drink it without the I, Sometimes I'll throw the ice in there, but sometimes I drink it just neat because yeah. I'm trying to fit in with you guys. So I do feel a little <laughs> intimidated. But that's um, the thing. I, it is intimidating. And people will make you, if you, like, I don't know anything about wine. I would be intimidating going and ordering wine that I knew nothing about. But don't let people intimidate you. I was at a Christmas party, my wife's Christmas party a week and a half ago and someone judged me i tweeted a picture of it because they put too much ice in it they were making it for me i don't care I, yeah don't, don't let people tell you what you like if you like it drink it yeah bourbon bullies bob calls them um sam says how do we get on aaron's schedule for bourbon tasting is that something you've ever <laughs> thought about doing you know well i have our we had our uh, tacky christmas sweater party at our house and so i'll i'll, I'll bring up five to ten bottles in, out of my basement and just let people go crazy like one guy brought one outside. He, he tracked me down outside. He goes, did you mean to put this in there? It was a bottle of Buffalo Trace. I'm like, yeah, whatever's in there, drink it. Yeah, I've got more bourbon than I'll ever in a lifetime be able to drink. You know what so. we might do, just thinking on the fly? I mean, we don't have a ton of room up here, but we might do a special exclusive bourbon tasting and, like, Man. you know, charge X amount and we'll let it go to a charity. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. great idea. So let our viewers and listeners come up and hang out with you two and talk bourbon yeah. and drink bourbon. And, and we'll present, um, I can probably get us 10 really good bottles of bourbon and we could have an hour, hour and a half event. We could talk, we could have fun with it, uh, limit it to like 20 people and send all that money to charity. That sounds like phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, Steve says, got to have Buffalo trace in your collection. I, you know, watching Yellowstone, they run a Bur Buffalo trace commercial now and then there are other bottles other than the signature Buffalo Trace, like Weller's and mm -hmm. Eagle Rare. Is that part Eagle, of the? That's part of the Buffalo Trace family, as is um, Blanton's. Okay, Blanton's is part of that. Now they don't make it, but they distill it for them. Uh, Pappy is actually Buffalo. Okay, housed under Buffalo Trace. Eagle, Eagle Rare is so good. So and, good. And Buffalo Trace. So I had a friend come over on Saturday night, and he showed up his. His uh, just housewarming gift was a bottle of Buffalo Trace. That's a good gift. Well, yeah. And then we had <laughs> uh, we had a dirty Santa party, and he forgot to bring a present. He goes, "We well, can just put that in there." I said, "No, no that's mine." No. Yeah. Of course, it was gone the next day because yeah. everybody got into it. Zach but. says, "Bringing the Evan Williams Green to this?" Question mark. Listen, my, I, I had a. I've had it. One of my wife's cousins. That's all he drinks. That's fine. You know, there are some things I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you if it's good if I don't like it, but I'm not going to judge someone for finding something that they like or they're not, their palate's not refined enough or they can't afford the, not, the high, high-end bourbon. We're, this is all about, and, and I, why, this is why I love the, the Bama and Bourbon podcast and why I share. Bourbon is best experienced shared. It's when you're with your friends or with someone and you're talking, you're having conversation. It's not sitting alone drinking bourbon which is fine i do plenty of that <laughs> I do too. but it's it is, it is a best experience when it's shared I, I i agree and you know that's what's been so fun and, and you know the people at pink package and beverage place who bring us different bottles i don't even know what we got in there for today but, but there's it's bourbon you, you know the majority of this <laughs> like about every two or, or second or third time either you or i have tried it but yeah. there will be you know two straight times that neither one of us has had it yeah. so the first time we pop it is the first time we get the aroma yeah. first time we get it on the palate so it is really cool, and there's a million bourbons. So just just you know, 
pick a bottle and go from there and just my best advice if you want to get into bourbon but you're not there yet you don't have to go spend a fortune there are and i'm talking a lot of good bourbons that are under 30 dollars that you can easily find that you start there and start finding out what you like and then build it from there. Oh, Zach says he was joking about the Evan Williams green. Is that even a real bourbon? It, it is. is. Oh, okay. It's cheap. Uh, okay. I didn't, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, th- I'll I give knew. you the best cheap bourbon I've ever had. It's called benchmark. It comes in a plastic bottle. What people don't know is it's made by Buffalo trace. It's just not aged as long. Oh, wow. Yeah. I remember now, you talking about that on one of our, my, my father-in-law keeps it in his golf bag and we have it on the golf course all the time. Okay.